Coach Eastan used the words run through, work through, drive through so many times today. Yeah. And it's just, a, I mean, and all they were doing was working on, ver- and he talked about get vertical, get vertical, get vertical. Right? I'll have to send you the video, Vince, uh, just the un- the uncut video, because we can only put three yeah. minutes in, so I had to right. cut some of the stuff out. So I'll send you the, the uncut version here later today, but... Man, it was it was really it was nice to hear it. He was super fired up because somebody was like, you know, how was his demeanor? Like, was he was he just cussing kids? Was, he's never cussed kids out an in individual unless they're being lazy. Like, that's team. That's when you're out in team. That's when he gets when he. But he's always been a teacher and instructor. Uh, you know that during that during individual, and that's what he was today. He was he was vintage. He stand and you know what he he was moving around better. I don't know if he had like knee surgery or something like that, but he was like, there was one time where he like waddled like 20 yards. I mean, he was like just like really fast going downfield, praising Blake Fisher. Like something Blake Fisher did got him super yeah. fired up. He's like, that's the effing drill. That's the effing drill. Like he was super fired up like that. Like meaning like you did it exactly how I want it done kind of thing. Uh, and he was, I mean, just a lot of teaching, a lot of instruction, but we kept hearing you know, about pad level, of course. But we kept hearing about drive, 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 get vertical, get vertical. There was one time where, and you can see it on the, the, the video, where Michael Carmody kind of is working a double team and he doesn't really stay engaged. And, and he was talking like, like, you don't avoid the guy. You go through the guy, right? That's what you got to do. They work on a combo block. So it was him and it was Michael Carmody who was working at center, by the way. We should probably talk about that. It's gonna Alignment play, yeah. wise, we saw Michael Carmody at center today working behind Zeke Carell which was very interesting because we talked, we hope he moves inside, gets a chance. He was at center. We saw Blake Fisher at right tackle, Joe Alt at left tackle. We saw Josh Lug at right guard. But it was uh, it was Rocco Spindler and Michael Carmody working a drill together. And M- M- Michael left the combo way too early, like way too early. He like went real wide to try to get to the linebacker. And then you'd hear Coach Eastan talk about like, he, w- he would question him like, you know, he goes, when you do this, you're supposed to do what? And you could tell Michael wasn't sure the answer. You, you're supposed to do what? He goes, run through them. You know, and you, you heard a lot of that. And then you saw just the emphasis on driving your feet through contact. It was like, you know, drive, 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 drive. I mean, you hear them say that, which again, what's a big point of emphasis that we have said that was lacking and something that that was something Harry Heastan and Alex Bars talked about this. He's yeah. like, we would work on vertical, really like vertical push every single practice. Right. And it was vintage coach. He stand and, you know, and, and they all looked the can, they looked, and I mean, Blake is still massive, but he looked lean, a lean three thirty, right. Like Chris, like Mad- he looked good. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Joe yeah. Alt looked great. Uh, Carmody looked thin down. Like his gut has kind of gone away. Like his arms need to get built up a little bit, but you know, it was nice. They were moving. I mean, they were they were coming off quick. They were moving around. The only guy that I didn't really thought like just really flew off the ball was Rocco Spindler. He looks. I mean, he's big. Like he's the one guy that's kind of got like a traditional big body. You know, kind of a bigger gut, big thighs. You know, he's a big, just a big kid. But uh, they looked athletic for the most part as a group. We saw Tosh Baker working behind uh, Joe Walt at left tackle, Caleb Johnson at right tackle. And we saw Rocco and Andrew or Andrew Kostovic and then Rocco at left guard, and then Zeke Carell and Michael Carmody at center. And then uh, is it Quinn Murphy? I think is the name of the the walk on kid that was behind that was behind uh, Josh Lug at right guard. Uh, okay. So you know, so you had you had Rocco at left guard, which tells me, look, they're giving him a, they're going to give him a chance to compete, right? Yeah. But I'll tell you the guy that 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 in the drills I saw that I was most encouraged by. I mean, Blake looked great, shocker, right? Like Joe Alt was getting a good push and all that. The guy that I thought looked just really good was Josh Lug. He looked lean. You, man. He came off his- the ball fast, he and he came be. off with punch. No. Uh, he looked. This was as confident as I've seen Josh Lug in a drill in years. Yeah. And I think part of it's the health. I think getting the knee cleaned up because he was playing through that. I mean, Brian Kelly even mentioned this. You know, he played through that all year last year before they finally just got it cleaned up. And uh, or no, not Brian Kelly. Mar- I think Marcus Freeman mentioned that. I'm sorry after during, in the bowl prep when we announced when they announced it, that my, that that he wasn't going to play. But he looked quick. You know, and again, right? Like we're talking relative with they didn't have pads on. It's right. relative to what we've seen from him in the past. That's the point. 
you know, to so to see Josh come off with the pads low, with the force driving his feet through contact. I mean, that was a big thing because Josh was one of those guys who was often very guilty of hit and stop, hit and stop, hit and stop. And, and, and you know, and that was a real big point of emphasis. There was one time where Andrew Kristoffic, you know, hit a guy and he was driving, but he kind of started to lunge. Coach, you know, just kind of co- corrected him and he had him run it again. And there was, there was a period where it was, it was Carmody and Rocco that I was talking about earlier. He made him run it three straight times until they got it perfect. And it was always just instruction, instruction, instruction. And then when they got it right, it was, he was fired up. You know, you could just tell he was excited to be out there. Uh, and um, it, it, it it was it was fun to see. There was a ton of teaching, teaching the things we were. You know, you start to hear, but you want to hear buzzwords. Okay, I want to hear about this. I want to hear about this. I want to hear about this. Yeah, what Drive, about side. run through. You know, keep you know, come out of your stance low. Guys weren't lifting up. Uh, it was, and there was one. There was one where it was Blake Fisher and Michael Mayer working a combo. And you're like, yeah, that's going to be fun to watch this year. <laughs> like they're both just explode off the ball and. You know, just it was like, yeah, they're going to be fun to watch in some combos this year. So, uh, really encouraged by what I saw from the line. Just again, looked in great shape. The guys looked thin, not thin, lean is the is lean, the proper yeah. word for that. They were quick off the ball. Uh, uh, just you know, the the combos looked. I mean, they looked sharp for day one. I mean, even the ones you had to correct, they weren't like they were. They, it was always a guy leaving too early, a guy being too right. quick. You know, it was like, no, stay here until you get that, till that guy takes you over. Uh, it was, it was, I mean, Vince, it was, it was nice to see. It was really yeah. nice to see that group working out and, and looking good. So a lot of encouraging things from, from the practice today. No, This question. was a non-padded practice, everybody. And that's how, I mean, the encouraging things that we saw, like right. I, I'm fired up to see the defensive line go up against the offensive line. Yeah. I mean, it, and look, the reason we focus a lot on what was being taught is again like what we said the other day, which is if they don't look like great players today, they're you know they shouldn't be on scholarship at Notre Dame, and that's that's the big thing for us is you know is is trying not to get too and I'm just I'm like dying right now looking at frozen vents right now it's it's kind of hilarious but uh, you know that that's the kind of thing that we kind of talked about is they're all going to look kind of good physically. It's it's there's an emphasis on number one guys coming back from injuries, guys that maybe had bad bodies in the past, you know, and, and really an emphasis on, on what's being taught. And I think for me, that was, that was my biggest takeaway from it. 